Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwes and this is our 35th video in QT5 C++ Graphical User Interface Application Development In the previous video we have learned how you can retrieve uh, your data from MySQL database into a table view using QSQL query model uh, This is from the previous video, you can see I have this data and I have retrieved this data from the uh, my MySQL database uh, in this video, uh, I want to show you how you can use QSQL table model for retrieving data from MySQL database. First of all, what is QSQL table model? Uh, it is also a high-level interface uh, for reading and writing database records from a single table. So uh, it is built in uh, on top of the lower level, uh, that's called QSQL query and uh, can be used to provide data to view classes such as QTable view. Now let me show you the example that what I mean. So first of all I'm going to create a new file or project QT widget application and QTable model click on next next we need a QDialog next and finish Okay, now this is our uh, Qt project. First, I need to add as an open your dot profile. I need to add SQL and save it. After this, open your dialog dot h, and I need some includes in here. So first, I'm going to include Qt SQL and uh, I need to include QSQL database also I need to include QMessage box okay now in the private I need to create a QSQL database and I call it database and I am going to create a QSQL uh, table query for SQL our table model and I call it table model okay now this is our uh, header file after that open your dialog.cpp now in here the first thing I need I'm going to create uh, a database connection uh, if you don't know you can watch my previous videos but uh, in here I'm going to just uh, call my database QSQL database and add database I want I'm using MySQL so I'm going to add the QMySQL engine after this database uh, dot set host name it is localhost database dot set username it is root database dot set password I don't have any password for this and at the end we need to set our database name dot set database name it my database name is qt5 register and I have already have a database in here you can see these are my data so uh, you can see this is my uh, database uh, now after this after this I'm going to check uh, if my database is open so check uh, the connection if uh, database if database is open uh, I want to do some stuff in here else if it is not open I want to give an an error in here 
so queue message box information this field and uh, connection field okay now we have created this now uh, in here uh, first uh, we need to create okay before this we need to open our forms and we are going to add a table view in here that should be a model based table view so a model based table view and let me make it bigger you can see we have a item based we don't need item based we need a model based and uh, okay after this you can see my object name is uh, table view open your uh, dialog.cpp we are going to create our table model so table model new qsql table model after creating our table model uh, we are going to set our table so table model set table and my table name is if I open my database I have my table name is users so I'm going to add users in here after this we are going to select our data so table model and select and at the end we are going to set our model to our table view so UI table view set model and we are going to add our table model okay let me before running you need to run QMIC after running QMIC we are going to run our application okay now you can see this is our data from MySQL database now what is difference between uh, like these two Q, uh, QSQL, uh, QSQL table model and QSQL query. Uh, in the previous video, uh, uh, we have retrieved data, but we cannot change the data on that video. But using QSQL uh, table model, you can uh, uh, read and write the data. So we can uh, make change to our data. For example, uh, this is, I want to change this to, for example, a name like this okay now if I check my database you can see now it's changed and uh, like this you can do for example I want to change this to uh, John Doe so now I'm going to refresh my database now it's changed to John Doe for example, I want to change this to Bob Logan. And if I refresh my page, my database, you can see now it's changed. So by this you can do uh, different kind of stuff. So if you want to set the header, for example, for your model, you can do this. So I want to change these headers according to my choice so in here uh, I'm going to uh, create table model set header data and in the first column uh, QT horizontal and uh, TR it should be ID okay so now let me just uh, refresh and let me run my application now you can see it's changed to ID let me just uh, change all of these uh, according to my choice so let me paste it paste this uh, okay uh, the first one it should be uh, username 
and this should be I have a username and I have password and uh, this is uh, Emil and the last one is phone now I'm going to run my application now you can see these are changed so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video